And then down here... Nothing but bone meal, that's correct. Nothing but bone meal. Um, it's the best way to get across. Hey, Harva. Nothing but bone meal there, that's good. Although, if I dropped anything into the hoppers, it would go down to the bottom first. Alright, so let's check down the bottom. Nothing but bone meal. Last one. Well, I mean, if I can get over there. A lot of bone You know what? Let me just clear some of this stuff. Let's clear some of that out because I don't need that much bone meal in there yet. Uh, and then let me check. So got flowers, flowers. Flowers, flowers, and flowers. Flowers, flowers, and flowers. And then finally, we see if this works up here. Um, right, so the plan is we stick half a stack into there. Why does that... Wait, why does that double up? Why does that double like that? <laughs> it's not supposed to do that. I mean, I'm sure it works. Right, we we get flowers. Why does it? Why do the pistons stutter like that? Did I do something wrong? What? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why it does that. Um, is it because I put the four on the... Hold on. Alright, let me, let me like stick some bone meal in there. Stick some bone meal in there. All right, we got pink tulips, we got white tulips, 
got orange tulips. We got red tulips. Alright, and then as soon as you put bone meal in, it will start producing flowers. Alright, cool, and that's the whole that's the whole flower factory. For the single block flowers at least. Uh, right, so the only problem now is that we don't have automated bone meal yet. And in order to get automated bone meal, we need some honey blocks. And so then we need automated honey <laughs> before we can build automated bone meal. And I think I should build a staircase at some point. What time is it today? Uh, staircase is not that important. Let's try and figure out automated honey. And also try and figure out try and figure out how big it is. So then I can figure out where to build it, right? Um So what I think I wanna do there are a couple of ways to do you know what let me just, just build it. Let me just build it. Uh we need Hoppers underneath. All right, so I need a. Uh, a dispenser. Oh, let me just make a whole bunch of dispensers. Sticks. Um, how many dispensers? Like sixteen. Maybe 32. If it's 32, I'm going to need more sticks. How do you make dispensers? Redstone dust, right. But you need a bow, so it's gonna take a while to make this, because you have to like make the bows one by one, right? Seven. Thirteen. Twenty. Uh, I need a lot more string, apparently. How many do I have? Twenty. Eight, thirty, thirty-two dispensers. Uh, thirty-two dispensers. If I want like sixteen honey and sixteen honeycomb, although I don't know how big these things are yet, so let me figure out how big they are before I decide how many to make. Um. So, if the dispenser has space, when you when the dispenser uses a, a glass bottle on a full beehive, it will put the honey bottle inside the dispenser. But if the dispenser is full of empty glass bottles, so that there's no more space for the honey bottles, it will drop the honey bottle on the ground. So the plan is to make sure that we keep the dispenser full of glass bottles. And so then it will just drop the honey bottle and then we can just pick it up with, with hoppers. And we have to make sure that if the dispenser is not full of glass bottles, we don't activate the dispenser to harvest the honey, even if there is honey. I mean, that's like... 
Minecraft logic. All right, super obscure Minecraft logic incoming. Uh, we're gonna need redstone dust comparator, and with the do I need that? When the comparator is, uh, when the uh, beehive is full of honey, the comparator gives a signal of five beehive bees nest. So if you imagine, if you imagine Right, and then a block above dispenser. The dispenser can't touch the hoppers because otherwise it will pull the things out of the dispenser, right? Dispenser facing up. Above it, beehive. Like that. And then. Over here, if we compare it to, and we will subtract mode, oh man, we're super laggy when we look that way, when we look at all the, all the machines. Right, so this this beehive is full, right? One, two, three, four, five. The signal goes to there. The signal does not go to there because when it's full, it gives you five, right? So this is no signal there, but there is a signal there. Okay, so five. Um. We need it so that when it's five, it activates that dispenser. We might need more space underneath, actually. Well, the... Mm, no. The issue, the issue is, we can't have anything underneath here because we need the space to be empty so that the honey bottles fall down reliably. We can pull this out by a block. Your comparator will measure the block behind the block, which is curious. But then this allows us to crap. <laughs> oh, we don't want to do that, do we? Because the problem with this is The honey bottle might fall on top of this thing, and then it doesn't get sucked down. Alright, what if we say that, that. So if this activates... That activates this. Good. And then... 
we just need to invert this. Um, that doesn't need to be there then. This can be... Not you. This can be here. One, two, three. This does need to be inverted. Can I just stick a torch right there? Right, that turns that off. One, two, three, four. So I need one more. Five. If I do that, if I do that, if I do that, and then here, I do that. What's going on? One, two, three, four, five. That turns that off. That turns. Okay, so when this is one, two, three, four, five long, it activates this. Good. So that's that's the basic design of this, right? Um. Now, we want to make it so that unless the dispenser is full of glass bottles, Oh, we also want to. No, we need to. We need to have a, a stop here. We need two stops. One stop is if the dispenser is not full of glass bottles, it doesn't activate. The other one is if the output storage is full, it doesn't activate. Which uh, this would be easier if it's one block out. A, <laughs> hey, why did that? Oh, this this lights that up. Oh, that's not gonna. <laughs> this this is a circle. Okay, I mean it's right. Don't do that. Can't do that. I can't do that. Uh, here, I guess we can use glass instead, right? So this is gonna go out. I mean, this thing doesn't have to. Oops. Uh, if... Wait. One... One, two... What am I doing? Is 
subtract there. 